Short-term rental owner, Irene Sear. Hi, Irene. Thanks for doing this. Hi there. And um, I guess first, uh, tell me a little bit about you and your husband. Uh, my husband and I are retired, and we live in north central Saskatchewan, about an hour and three quarters northeast of Saskatoon. So you'd mentioned you bought your condo at Playa del Sol in 2015. Yes, we bought in uh, Playa in 2015. And um, the reason we had bought is that we had been looking at possibly investing um, some into properties in Saskatoon. And I just happened to talk to a friend of ours who had moved back to Kelowna about 20 years now. And uh, she we were talking and she was just mentioning to me, oh, have you guys ever thought about purchasing out this way? And I said, no, actually we hadn't. She said, well, I know someone who's bought into Playa or whatever, and this is what's going on right now. And it's an awesome opportunity because you can do short-term rentals. And so I went out there, some fast flights and did some looking. And yeah, so we ended up buying in Playa because, because of the short-term rentals that we could do. Would you have bought it if the short-term rent, what if it was just a traditional condo? Would you have bought it? Absolutely not. No, no. We were looking into something that we could um, eventually possibly go out there for the winters, but then come back here for our summers, back to Saskatchewan. Um, and we just aren't, weren't able to do that at the time that we bought. And we were hoping to do that within like the next little five years here. And uh, But that now looks like that's not going to be a possibility for us. So when the provincial government says that um, you know, they, they need rentals, uh, that we have a rental shortage, and we do, um, but what do you say to the provincial government of BC that says, we want your building, your suite, Irene Sear? The thing that I totally understand, I understand that there's housing problems all over Canada. I get that. The thing is, is that I get a little bit insulted when they, the governments are sitting there and they say, we don't care about you investors. I'm a person, my husband and I, we bought one. We bought our license. We went, we followed every rule that we could possibly do. And so you're telling us that you don't want, you don't care about us investors. But when every time that we go visit there, whether I have a property there or not, any tourist that goes there is investing in your province. They're investing in any province they go to visit. And we choose to go to Kelowna. And now they're telling us that they don't care about the investor. Well, I'm sorry, I just don't, um, I don't understand that. It's been suggested as well that um, perhaps because of some of these short-term rental owners are from outside the province, that the government of uh, BC and, and the, um, Council Clona specifically isn't worried about you folks because, hey, you don't actually live here and you're not voters. Um, what do you say about that? Well, just because we don't live there and we don't vote there, they sure take our taxes. They We have to pay in our GSTs and PSTs and everything that is that the government needs. We We have to still do that. And not just that, they sit there and they say they don't care but when we would come down, we would try and use our condo, well, which we have been every every month of June, June was our month. And then our children, we have three adult children with kids. They would stay in our condo. We would rent another condo and we would stay for a week and we would go touring around Kelowna. We supplied, we supported grocery stores, um, different activities around town. And, and the, now they'd like, they don't care. And, you know, I, the only thing that really gets me is like, okay, you don't care, but you sure did when we came in 2015. You know, that's what it was bought for. Like, we absolutely bought it for because of the short-term rental. If I wanted to do long-term, why would I be two provinces away? I could do that here in Saskatchewan. We are just your average girl people, like we truly are. I mean, I worked at minimal jobs where... There wasn't a lot, any retirement plan. My husband was a logger with his brother and there was none there as well. And now I feel like we're being punished because we just happen to be able to invest and 
hopefully help ourselves out later on when we need it a little bit more. So it's just really, really frustrating because you do put the money in. And I just, I, it really bothers me. I know we're from Saskatchewan and they don't care because we don't vote for them over there. But like I said, they've never, ever hesitated to have tourism come. They've never hesitated to take my money or our money when we went and purchased. And we have a bank account in Kelowna. We pay our taxes in Kelowna for our condo. It's just, it's just so frustrating. I just don't even, I, I, well, I just get so upset. I just don't understand it. And I'm just an average Joe person. I don't have a big education. I don't have big words. I don't, all I can tell you is I'm just really thoroughly disappointed and upset and actually pretty mad because, you know, just to tell us you don't care. It's that just like, yeah, I don't, don't even know what to say. <laughs> Did you see the story uh, in the Kelowna media a week or two ago where the Marriott Hotel is building a hotel to deal with the shortage of STRs in the city of Kelowna. Did you see that? I read about it and I can tell you it's a joke. Like to me, it's like they're, they're definitely looks like they're favoring one side more than the other. Absolutely. Hands down. Um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. Like I said, I don't have a huge education and I can still figure out like somebody is is greasing the wheels somewhere along the line, if I can say that. So, Irene, you, you mentioned you're waiting. You're going to wait it out and and hope for a change of government so that you can use your property for what you purchase it for. Let's say worst case scenario, a few months now, the NDP is still in power. You can't use your property for what you bought it for. Um, you end up having to sell it. Will you be back? Will you be back in Kelowna? If the NDP stays in government and force us to sell our property, absolutely, I will not return to Kelowna. I will, and and that breaks my heart totally because it is a beautiful place. But I will also tell my people, absolutely, don't go. I will tell them, don't bother investing because they're not true to their words. It's like it so frustrating and I'm very very upset and I to be honest probably if I wouldn't have to go to the island I probably wouldn't step foot in BC again on account of them 